Hey guys, in today's tutorial we'll be transferring a character that we've made in Fuse into Unity where we can, you know, walk around and stuff. So first I'm gonna open Fuse. And I'm going to create a character. So you can choose many different types of bodies, uh, female or male. And there's even zombie and uh, cartoon team. But I'm just going to choose the uh, male fit A. So now I've done that, I can adjust his, you know, body measurements. There's the movement tool. And that puts it to normal view. So I can use the cursor to adjust his body type manually, or I can use the settings. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make him as ridiculous as I want. You can do whatever you want with your character. I've pretty much finished adjusting my character so I can give him some clothes I'm gonna go with uh, a suit and just some normal bottoms uh, I'll give him a hat some facial hair and he also needs some shoes cowboy boots maybe not just some normal shoes so now we are going to export my textures and this is pretty important just call them whatever you want your character name weird man and export him to Unity 5. And just click OK, and it should export to wherever you, you put your save location. Now the next thing we're gonna do is click Animate with Mixamo. And you call, you, you name him your character name, and then it'll upload to the Mixamo website. Now the Mixamo website is very useful because it automatically rigs your characters so that you don't have to rig them yourself. Which, you know, makes them much easier for animation. So it should rig, I've sped this up. And now it's done. So now we're gonna click download and click download and then you can drag it to your desktop you also might want to save your fuse file just in case you're doing something important but you know in this case I'm not so now I'm gonna open up unity and just a project that I made before And we are going to add our weird man. Actually, first I'm going to import a package, uh, the normal standard assets, because I forgot to pre download them. And if you forgot to pre download them, you can go to the asset store and type in standard assets. They take a while to download, so. I'm just gonna speed this up a bit. So just click import. Make sure everything's checked and then click import. So 
now that's done, we can go ahead and import our weird map. So just import the textures and the model. So now drag the man onto your scene. One sec, I'm just gonna put everything into one folder just so it's not confusing and expand the land that you can run on. So now drag in your person. And as you can see, it's completely white right now. So you're gonna go into the textures that you imported and drag them in. Now they all the texture files are labeled, so you can check. You can check check it against the weird man body parts and just drag them in. Yeah, some of these are a little difficult, so just select them and then drag it on. Now, some, some of the files are difficult to find, such as the hat. There's the facial hair. I'm gonna remove the eyelashes because they are a bit weird. And lastly, the hat. So I just searched it up. If you can't find yours, then you can also search it up. So now that we've done that, we can go to our standard assets and drag in a thir third person character. So our third person character is a bit small. So what we're gonna do is size him up a bit. Now two's a little big, so maybe 1.2 or 1.3 yeah that's good so now we're going to delete everything in the third person folder because we don't want that character we want our character to be moving around gonna add a camera so that we can see what we're doing and just drag it into the correct position so now go to the word man and click rig and then click humanoid and create from this model and then click apply and then it should work thank you for watching and uh, watch out for the next video please like and subscribe